Let's make healthy cinnamon rolls. One bun has just 180 calories. Have you ever been disappointed by dry and bready cinnamon rolls? And on top, one bun has 320 calories. Well, I don't know about you, but my jeans are getting tighter and tighter this winter. So I figured, why not making healthy cinnamon rolls, which are fluffy and buttery, just like the original ones. I am getting hungry here, so let's get started. Melt your butter on low heat. Once it's melted, add your milk and heat it up to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Switch off the heat and add your yeast. If you're using dry ones, you can completely skip this step. Now we are making our dough. I am using for this a food processor, but if you don't have one, you can totally do it by hand. Next, combine in your food processor 2 and 3 quarter cups of flour, one whole egg, your yeast mixture and half a teaspoon of salt. I would really like to make this recipe without adding any sugar, but it is essential, because without it, our dough will not rise. The whole process in the food processor takes just 2 minutes. If you're doing it by hand, it might take up to 6 minutes. Now lightly grease your bowl, transfer the dough into it and cover with some foil and let it rest for 1.5 hour. This mixture is sticky, but do not be tempted to add extra flour. We want a very soft dough for the cinnamon rolls. Just let your dough relax in room temperature, that he likes the most. Let's move to the frosting. The original one contains cream fresh, butter, powdered sugar and vanilla extract. We just keep vanilla extract and the rest we are replacing with Greek yogurt and erythritol. Combine all together and our frosting is done. Alright, the time is up. Check on your dough, it should have at least doubled in size. Get it out of the bowl and make sure to flour your work surface. This is a really uncomplicated dough. You just need to knead it for 1 to 2 minutes until you have a smooth consistency and the dough is not sticking to your fingers. Sprinkle some flour on top and we can move to the rolling section. You want to roll this dough into a rectangular shape. I am also straightening the edges, so there is no waste. Next, butter your dough evenly. As we are using a small amount of butter, I like to use my hands to do it. Make sure to spread the butter all the way to the edges of the dough. To make the cinnamon sugar, combine granulated erythritol with some ground cinnamon and give it a quick mix. Sprinkle the entire amount over your buttered surface. A nice trick, which I like to do, is to take my rolling pin and press the seasoning into the butter. So when you go to fold and roll your dough, everything stays in place. Roll the dough up, starting with one of the long sides. Do it as tight as you can to make sure that your rolls are not falling apart. This recipe makes around 9 to 12 rolls, depending on how big you cut them. I like to do it with a piece of string to get this beautiful even cut, but you can definitely use a knife. Now butter your baking mold. I like to use for it a butter spray, it saves us a lot of calories. Arrange your cinnamon rolls in the baking mold and bake them for 22 minutes and 355 degrees Fahrenheit. They taste best when they are warm, so I cannot wait to try them. They are so fluffy, moist, and you cannot even tell the difference to the original ones. So eat them immediately after baking. Or, if you're not planning to eat them all, you can always freeze them and reheat the next time when you need them. Mm. Yum! Guys, you have to try this frosting, it is way lighter, has less calories and it's so creamy. 
All right, that's it from me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give me a like, ring the bell, check out my Instagram, and I really hope we see us in the next one.